Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to delete all the data from a table. Uh, so when you're learning SQL, often it's really useful just to be able to clear out a table without deleting the table itself. And at the moment, if I do use tutorial one, which is my database name, and I do show tables, we can see that we've got this um, we've got this users table. So if I do select star from users, that's just going to have whatever junk in it you happen to have added in the course of your experimentation. Now to delete data from a table, you can just do delete from table name. I, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that select has a star in it, but the delete from statement, which we'll see in a second, doesn't. And that's because when we do a select, as we'll see later on, you need to specify which columns you're going to actually output. And star means output all columns. Now, since the delete just works on all the different fields in a row, so all the columns, you don't need that star with the delete statement. So we would just type delete from, in this case, users. This isn't going to actually work, but let's run it. So it says in the console here, in the action output pane, you are using uh, safe update mode, and then there's some more information that if you're a complete beginner, if you're new to this, you won't understand yet, although we're going to cover the stuff that it mentions in the future. Uh, basically, there's a setting in, SQL, in MySQL which the default option is to not let you do a delete without actually narrowing down which particular rows you want to delete. But for learning purposes, often it's better to switch that off. If you've got a production database with data in it that you need to keep safe, it's a really good thing that you can't just delete all the rows without specifying which particular rows you want to delete. And that's what this option prevents you doing, it prevents you deleting all the rows without actually specifying particular rows. But for this tutorial purpose, for the purposes of learning MySQL, we're going to want to switch that option off. So you can check what your option is set to by doing select. And what we're really interested in is the value of this variable in the session, which is going to be whatever the default is. So let's say two at signs session dot and it's SQL safe updates, I think. Let's run this. And we see that that's set to one, meaning it's on. So if it was set to zero, that's off. So session SQL safe updates is what's what's controlling this behavior. And we can actually do set uppercase or lowercase, doesn't matter. Set SQL safe updates equals zero. Let's try that. And that's that seems to have worked. I'm always surprised because it's really hard to remember uh, these the exact syntax of these commands that I don't use very often. And so it's SQL safe updates with underscores in there. Let's check the value of the session variable now and see what it is. So now it's set to naught. And now finally, we can do delete from users. Run that. So we see now that it executed fine. You can see that in the lower pane. And if we do select star from users, then um, we see there's nothing in it now. Uh, so do try that for yourself. Try doing a delete from and the name of the table you've created and put some data in. And probably it won't work. So then you need to check the value of this session SQL safe updates variable with this kind of syntax. And then you can actually change it if it's set to one. You can change it to zero and check it again to make sure it really has changed. And then you should be able to do delete from and your table name to delete all the rows in your table. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.